somewhere between 2 and 3 in the morning right now. And I'm just, I'm so not ready to turn on the lights yet. <laughs> I'm not actually getting up yet. It's somewhere between 2 and 3 in the morning. And, um... I don't, I think I know why I'm, why I'm up right now. It's because I'm wrecked with, uh, guilt from yesterday. Because I, um... Wow, what, 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 my confession, what's my confession of the hour? Because it was bugging me all last night. And, um, oh yeah, because I was, I, I feel like I was supposed to help, uh, have Richie get on the bus. Make sure, make sure that he makes this bus, it was the last bus of the night. And, uh, long story short, we forgot the phone was plugged in somewhere, we had to go back to the phone by the time... We just watched this bus fly by us, and then to make matters really worse, ten minutes like after the bus comes, it's starting. It's already pouring rain. At this point, we had already split and gone our own ways. And I don't know at this point. It's only between two and three o'clock in the morning, and I'm not gonna know till way, way later on whether or not he got drenched and caught in that rain. So that's really what's on my mind. But, um, the other thing that's on my mind is, um, the, the, uh, origin of the Celts. And, um, there's a clip called, uh, News Not Shown on TV. And it covers, it's on the web. If you just think, you know, it's just floating around on the web. I didn't go through, I, I happened to see there was some kind of website. I didn't, like, go through the website or anything like that. I don't really know much about this. Um, I just happened to accidentally come across this clip on, um, on Google. And you just put in some keywords... And this little news not shown up on TV clip. The little news not shown on TV clip. <laughs> if you're of the Irish or Scottish, um, origins. Oh, I will tell you right now, sometimes I say Irish and I mean Scottish, and sometimes I say Scottish and I mean not. It's just because I just, well, down to, I mean, down to the origins and down to the roots, I really, Regardless of whatever divisions there have been, unfortunately, because of different religion and this and and the artificial constructions of divisions, you know, mainly because of the oh, it was Protestant, it was Catholic. I just, I just look beyond all that and down to the roots. I really see the Irish and the Scots as as, um, as one I mean, in origins in a lot of ways. So don't mind me if I say Irish, Scotch, Irish, Irish, or Scotch, Irish. In my head, I'm really thinking of, of these two brothers as more, as more unified. Um, so, uh, you're either uh, Irish, blood, or Scottish. This is a little gem of a clip on the origins of the Celts, and the great thing is it's really like probably won't even take up 10 minutes of your time. It's a real quick clip, and it's a gem because it covers such rich material, and we're talking about on the biblical roots. Um, Young, is, I believe, is the last name. I'm going to try to remember the first name of the guy running this clip, but names are not my specialty. News not shown on TV, and the last name Young, and all you got to do is punch in some keywords on Google on the origins of the Celts, and uh, it's all... It's, down to Israel, he covers, it's a brilliant little clip, and, um, he covers the Maccabees, and, um, the book of Galatians, 
hooking that up to the, the goals. You just got to see this little jumbo clip. And he covers the Scottish Declaration of Independence. Which I feel when I say Scottish Declaration of Independence, I just also feel like, you know, we claim that independence for, for the Irish as well. So once again, if I say Scottish, I also include Irish. And I say Irish, I include Scots. But, um, I feel like if you haven't checked out this clip, you're really missing out on something, particularly if you have Irish or Scottish blood. And say, wow, this, this, uh, so this little clip really taps the Bible. In, like, uh, an awesome way. On the roots. So, I, um, I was just, um, is happy, I guess, to see that I'm not the only person in the world. Before this, before I saw this clip, I really thought I was the only person in the world who would look at Ireland and just see tribe, tribe Judah, line of King David, royal line of King David, tribe Judah, and that's what I'm saying. And I'm seeing this, and I'm like, oh, thank goodness! I, at least I'm not the only person. Who's seeing tribe Judah? Who's seeing the line of King David over Ireland? Is uh, the history of Ireland? And when I saw this clip, this brilliant little clip, that here it comes, tribe Judah, line of King David, and that just is so so wow to me. It's just so so wow to me. Not just because of the harp that represents Ireland and King David's, not just because of that. But that's just, um, you can call it a hunch or whatever. That's just what I've kind of known for a long time and I'm just so happy that I'm not the only one. That sees tribe Judah and the line of King David. Right. And I'm going to also go so far as to say there's a very good chance that a very good chance that the that you really have to look over by Scotland and Ireland for the body of King David under another name. You know, Gaelic. Got to go to the Gaelic. The other fascinating thing that is the, that's covered when you go, when you check out this clip on News Not Shown on TV is, is the Gaelic, uh, a bit on the, the Gaelic language. It's a very, very special language, more special than we give it credit for. All down to the biblical origins. So, um, I don't know how you could not see, uh, your roots going back, um, to Israel, going back to coming out of, coming out, of, even coming out of slavery in Egypt. I don't know how you can not see those roots down to being, like, actually being part of the Bible. Part of the Bible story. If you're Irish or Scottish, I don't know how you can not see those roots if you've listened to your own Declaration of Independence. So, uh, yeah, in a biblical sense, to say that um, the, the Irish and the Scots are a very, very special, very important. Very special people. I hate to use the word chosen because that word is just thrown around so much, but for lack of a better word, I mean, it's an understatement. 
in the biblical sense and on the biblical roots. It's an understatement to say it's something it's very special. A very special place in uh, history if you're Irish, Scottish. Which is why it's so important to really put together this Irish Bible. You might have to put together your own Bible because I don't know what's in your Bible. I don't even know if you have one. I do know that there's plenty of Bibles where the Maccabeans have been kicked out. And you could find your history in a book that's been, that's been kicked. It's been knocked out of the Bible. And then you have to make your own Bible and find your own books. Yeah.